All right, guys, so for today's draft, I am only allowed to take players who are still playing for the team that drafted them. So, yeah, I basically reached out to two of my friends because I was about to record a video. I had no idea what kind of draft to make. And my friend said, you know, just take players that have played for the Leafs, like former Leafs players. I'm like, that'd be a little bit tough, but then somehow I got this idea from that. So I'm, I'm going to be trying that. Anyways, let's randomize our team here and we land on the Boston Bruins. Okay. I believe Mitch will be happy about that one once again. Fantasy draft on, GM firing. Well, that's, you know, owner mode, head coach edit lines. Don't even think about it. Fog of War is off by default. That's normally on, isn't it? That's strange. Anyway, player mail, yes, but I'll turn off the meetings. All right, I think we're good. Okay, which draft pick will we get? 13. That's my guess. We're going to get number 13. Just random. Let's see if I'm even close to right. Probably not. But, you know, there is a 1 in 31 chance. 7. Okay, so Patrick Kane, yes. Uh, David Pasternak was drafted by the Bruins, so we could also take passive. But I feel like he's underperformed in simulations I've had with him. And we have Hubert Doe. Uh, I mean, I mean Eichel, that could n maybe not last too much longer, honestly. It depends how this offseason goes. You know what? I'm going to try things a little bit different today. I'm going to take a defenseman first. Let's just see where this one goes. Does it go well? Probably not. But we're going to find out, that's for sure. I want to say Dougie Hamilton. He wasn't drafted by Carolina. Was it the Bruins? It was the Bruins. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, you can't take him. He's one of the ones that, you know, we can't take. But I, I can take Bergeron because he was drafted by the Bruins and he plays for them. So, I'm going to take Patrice and let's, yeah, let's put him in there as our first line center. Philip Forsberg. <laughs> Probably one of the worst trades in Capitals history, man. I still can't get over that. Jeff Petrie was drafted by the Edmonton Oilers. I learned something today. I had no idea. Gensel was drafted 77th overall to the Penguins. So yeah, we can pick him up. Why not? Weber was the Predators. Taves was Chicago. So we could take Jonathan Taves, but I don't know. The cap is a lot. An 87. I don't know if I'm down for that. And who else could we take here? Wasn't... Brent Burns, it definitely wasn't San Jose. Okay, it was the Wild. See, this is kind of a funny one. I don't know what to do in this situation because the whole premise of the video is that they're still playing for that team. But he went and played a few years in Toronto and then yeeted his way back to Philadelphia. So I, I don't know. I'm not going to count that one. But, you know, it's sort of an interesting situation. There's another one. Perron, he plays in St. Louis right now, was drafted by St. Louis, but that is definitely not the only team he's played for. Ekholm is one we could take, so let's go ahead and take Ekholm, and yeah, that's another defenseman there, so our first defensive pair will be very good. I should probably think about taking a goalie relatively soon. For some reason, I feel like not a lot of goalies play for their draft team, but I could be wrong on that. You know what? I'm gonna take Mackenzie Blackwood. There we go. Goaltender, 2.8 million, 85. Yes. Krejci's an option. I mean, he's making 7 million, but we're, you know, don't have a whole lot of options here, to be honest. So I'm going to take Krejci. This draft is actually turning out to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Oh, she was drafted by the Blues, which makes me very sad because every time I see him, you know, I want to take him. That's my guy. Timothy Jimothy is my dude. Duncan Keith is on the board. 5.5 million. Another defenseman. So we are definitely not looking strong in the offense department right now, but you know, it's... A work in progress. Defense wins championships anyway, but I'm going to take Palat here. 84, 5.3. It's not too bad. So, yeah, that's a decent pickup. Yep, I'm going to take Veselainen. Why not? Let's just, uh, this team is not going to be good. I'm calling it right now. 79 overall, pull Yarvi. Why not? 22 years of age, 1.1 million. That's, you know, still a decent amount of cash right there that he's making. But, I mean, for the cap hit, not bad. What about players that weren't drafted? Huh? What about that? I mean, Jake McCabe, 2.8 million. This is not going to be the best team, guys. I thought this was going to be a lot easier than it is turning out to be. Man, that just hurts. 78 overall, 9 million. Whew! Honestly, Andrew Kopp isn't a bad pickup at this point. So, yeah, that's another centerman, but it's definitely a pick that I'm going to welcome with open arms. Our cap space situation isn't great, but I'm going to take Getzlav, man. We are just running out of choices here. Somehow I feel like we always end up with this guy, but Kalorn, welcome to the team. There you have it. So we now need right wingers, but honestly, that doesn't really matter. We just need three more forwards, two more defensemen, and a goalie. So I should probably take a goalie kind of soon. I remember seeing this guy play like one or maybe it was a few games for the Colorado Avalanche, actually. But anyway, yeah. He was drafted by Colorado, so I'm going to go ahead and take him. Man, this is getting harder and harder, but Matthew Joseph, there we go. That's a decent pick right there, especially 
considering the circumstances. We are running out of options really quick. Dustin Brown's been loyal to the Kings. Uh, right winger, we actually need that too. So yeah, that works out quite well. And now we only need one more forward and two more defensemen. Cap space is... Looking a little iffy, but I think we're definitely going to keep it close, which is my main goal to begin with, so I think we're fine. Scott Mayfield for the Islanders. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's a defenseman. So now we just need one defenseman, one forward, and we are good to go. Carson Soucy. Six foot five defenseman. And yeah, drafted by the Wild, playing for the Wild. There we go. We just need one forward now, and the team is good to go. Man, this is really coming down to the wire, but we are... Certainly taking some players that we normally wouldn't, which to be honest is sort of like the end goal of a lot of these drafts. I want to put teams together that, you know, are unique. Sam Lafferty, finally we found someone. Holy crap, that took a while. But drafted by Pittsburgh apparently, played for Pittsburgh last this year, and yeah, he's the, if you've watched my any of my live streams when I did NHL for a bit there, he was Lafferty Daniel, the happy Gilmore guy. So there we go, last pick, very fitting. And let's, let's go put this team together. Here is the draft overview. I don't know how this team's going to be, honestly. But if I had to guess, I would say we're probably not going to make the playoffs. I really don't know at this point. Well, here's the team. I tried to get some kind of chemistry going, but really there wasn't a whole lot of options there. On defense, we got plus three, plus three, and zero. So I'm super down with that. And then in net, we've got, yeah, Mackenzie Blackwood and Werner. So I don't think it's going to be a playoff team. But honestly, every time I say something, usually the opposite happens. So... I guess President's Trophy, here we come. So if I had to make predictions, I'd say Victor Hedman gets the most points with 73, okay? And then I'm going to say that the team gets 38 wins. That's my guess. So I'm listening to my Spotify right now, and days go by by The Offspring came on, and it's just giving me flashbacks of NHL 13. Um, yeah, what a good time that was. All right, the Boston Bruins are on one right now. We weren't doing so well, and never mind, I take it all back. We suck. And the first firing goes to the Pittsburgh Penguins, Daniel Daigle. Sorry, bud. Oh, and right after that, the Islanders fire Sheldon Skinner. Well, I mean, I guess it was sort of a chain effect on that one, potentially. So 33 wins heading into the trade deadline, which means we're probably going to get more than I initially anticipated, unless we have the most pathetic post-trade deadline simulation ever, which is very possible. So you know what? I'm not going to say I'm wrong just yet, but there's definitely a chance. Raiden Holpe, 83 overall. Wow. Holy crap. All right. Well, anyway, there we go. That's a trade block, or sorry, I guess who's available at the trade deadline. But uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Ryan McDonough and a fourth headed to Dallas in exchange for a first Pinto and a second. Wow. What a blockbuster. Yes. Keep losing. Let's go. I want to be right. 38 wins, baby. Here we go. Man, I don't know what it is about like, po oh, we're not making the playoffs. We're not even close. We are so far out. We need to get eight points. That is certainly not happening. But my 38 wins prediction looking like, you know, it might actually come to fruition here. Okay, we need to lose these last two. You guys can do it. I believe in you. All right. Well, sick. Thanks for that. And there we go. Well, either way, we didn't make the playoffs. So I don't know what good that was. Bergeron, 71 points, 82 games. Look at the kid go. Unreal. Anyway, we finished uh, sixth in our division. In the entire league, we've got the Ottawa Senators, 111 points, winning themselves a President's Trophy. So there you go. Congrats to Ottawa. Let's continue to scroll down here. Was it top 16? No, it wasn't. Nashville didn't make it. I love when it's top 16 because, you know, that's it sort of makes sense. That's the way it should be almost, but regardless that's not the way it turned out bergeron had the most points with 71 as i just mentioned gensel was 62 who had the least amount boom we got mayfield with 11 but honestly there wasn't a lot of dashes on this team so i don't know where we went wrong okay well bergeron was a dash three that's kind of surprising but anyway goaltenders we've got blackwood with a 915 261 werner definitely did not carry his weight otherwise if we had a decent backup we actually might have had a chance Really? Wow. Ottawa had Bobrovsky with a 914 and 260 and then Aaron Dell as the backup. And if we check out their forwards, let's, or skaters, I should say, they had Patrick Kane with 95. I almost took him. And of course, Jonathan Taves. Why not? Of course. Konechny as well as up there. Larkin, Nurse, Domi. They have a really good team here. So yeah, it doesn't really surprise me they won the President's. Good for them. In the entire league, Ovechkin with 116 and 60 goals. Holy crap. Well, he won the Art Ross and probably the Hart and probably the Maurice Rocket Richard. So there you have it. Nate Mack with 50 goals, 104. Crosby's up there as well. Wow. Unbelievable. And if we go to the goaltenders, 
We have Carter Hart. Sorry, Kata Hat. 42 wins. 909, 282. All right, Varlamov. 904, 282. There it is. Not bad, not bad. Let's simulate the playoffs and see who takes home the ultimate prize. Ottawa is actually in the conference finals, so they have a chance here at winning the Presidents and the Cup, which, you know, doesn't happen very often. So, nope, they didn't do it. New Jersey is going to take home the Stanley Cup. Boom! Rockford Ice Hogs with the Calder Cup. Congrats. All right. Well, there you go. Let's go check out New Jersey's roster. New Jersey had Mark Stone to put up 85. Nuge with 78. Taylor Hall, 72. Smith. All right. So there you go. Let's just have a brief look through of their roster. They did have a good team. Okay. They had a dash 23 in Eller. Wow. We didn't have that. Anyway. Well, I don't think anyway. But they also had a plus 36 in Riley Smith. Wow. In net, they had Vasilevsky. Okay. That explains it all. 91. Overall, 915 and 270. They had... Stolarz is the backup who didn't really need to do a whole lot. Let's have a peek at the awards here. So we already knew those two. Dallas ended up making it to the finals. All right. And Ovechkin with the Art Ross and the Hart. Carlson with the Norris. Lady Bing goes to Panarin. And we got Kaprizov with the Calder. Conn Smythe goes to Mark Stone. Vesna to Peterson. The William M. Jennings goes to Kakonin. We got Letty with the Masterton. And we've got... That's just a... Uh... Wow. Marcard? Marcart? Something like that. I guess to Jack Adams. Frank J. Selkie goes to Jonathan Taves. And the Ted Lindsay plus the Rocky Richard go to Alexander Ovechkin. Here is the playoff tree. If anyone is curious, that's how things went down. But thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. That would be sick. And I will see you in the next one.